God, our hearts are filled with great happiness on Wes and Christina's wedding day as they come before you pledging their hearts and lives to one another. Grant that they may be ever true and loving, living together in such a way as to never bring shame or heartbreak into their marriage and temper their hearts with kindness and understanding and rid them of all pretense of jealousy and help them to remember to be each other's sweetheart, helpmate, friend, and guide so that together they may meet the cares and problems of life more bravely. And with the passage of time, may the home they're creating today truly be a place of love and harmony. day for Wes and Christina. And although this, he said yes, it really is. <laughs> and although this is indeed a high point, we know that marriage is a journey, not a destination. In other words, what I mean by that is marriage is more than just one single event or promise. Now this single event has to happen for you to become husband and wife. It's a big part of it. But I really believe it's the journey after this that is so, so important. Because I know on the journey together, as you travel life's road together, you're going to have some wonderful, fantastic, awesome times together. But I also know on the journey, on the road of life, you're going to have some difficult and some sad times that come in. So what I want you to remember is today and the commitment and the promises you made to one another as you travel that road together. And remember on the journey to be there for each other in the good times as well as in the bad times. So Wes, I now ask you, do you accept Christina as your life mate and one true love, promising to share in all that life offers and suffers, to be there for her in times of need, to soothe her in times of pain, and to support her in all endeavors, both big and small? I do. There we go. <laughs> and Christina, I now ask you, do you accept Wes as your life mate, one true love, promising to share in all that life offers and suffers, to be there for him in times of need, to soothe him in times of pain, and to support him in all endeavors, both big and small. I know you heard as I do. She said I do as well, if you didn't hear it. <laughs> and it is with these in mind that I now pronounce you husband and wife. Wes, you may now kiss your bride. <laughs> Wesley, love is patient, love is kind because you truly are patient and kind yourself. But I don't know if you're familiar with another Bible verse that was read to Maria and myself at our wedding. It starts out, a silent wife is a gift from the Lord. <laughs> I've got news for you. Christina, I don't know what your whole future holds for you, and I know that 20 years from now, many things will have happened that we can't predict. But whatever happens, and wherever you go, your mom and I know you'll always have each other's love, and you'll always have ours. Christina, you have been the best sister, daughter, friend, and godmother to all of us here, and I cherish every moment we spend together. Wesley, you have been the best brother, son, uncle, and friend. All of us appreciate everything you've done and continue to do. Your love story is just beginning, and I can't wait to see your future together. It's all right, you know, I love you both. I wish the best 
for you guys for, you know, an eternity. To Wes and Christina, 